most of you will probably recognize Tony Miles from 2018 runner-up in this exact event. Tony, excited to be here? Uh, yes, I'm thrilled and uh, I'm very grateful to be here. Just to have this experience every year is a blessing and uh, I embrace it. How does it feel sitting down day one, you know, obviously 2018 was several years ago, so it's not like super fresh, but you're sitting down day one. Does a lot of that day one from the 2018 run come rushing back to you here? Uh, it's very nostalgic. Like this is a very special event. It has a special place in my heart and uh, it's an honor to play it. And I love just meeting the people and how excited they are. There's really a special energy in the air for this one. Do you feel a little extra pressure? Because you know, of course, you're Tony Miles, a runner up. People mm -hmm. know your face, they know your name. You feel that pressure? I think everybody feels a lot of pressure going into the main event, but I try to counter that with meditation and good diet. And um, you know, the strongest part of my game is my mental game. So I think I'd really do a good job of getting in the zone and trying to be in a flow state for the big events. Five cashers just at this series alone, yeah? Yeah, I've been grinding. <laughs> I mean, I, I think like grinding is one way to put it. Um, and I noticed too, you kind of, it was, you had good runs and caches in a lot of the smaller buy-in big field events, which of course, you know, the, the main event is kind of that huge field tournament. What is the secret? What is the strategy for these like huge massive field tournaments? The secret is to stay calm, to stick to your strategy, uh, to, be a, to be able to focus for long periods of time. And I think the meditation that I do is a great practice to help with that. If people at home want to start working on their game with meditation, uh, what kind of resource, like what kind of meditation are you personally doing? Um, I think Elliot Rowe and Fedor Holtz's uh, Primed Mind is a great resource. I personally use the Headspace app. Uh, there's some meditations in there specifically tailored for competition. So those are the ones that I use to prepare for events like this. But uh, I think generally speaking any type of meditation can benefit you greatly in poker. Is there any kind of meditation as a meditation noob that you actually could like kind of do at the poker table? Like is there any kind of mental tricks or ticks that you can actually do? Sure, I uh, absolutely use like a grounding technique and focus on my breathing constantly and if you watch the final table from 2018 I ran a bluff with seven high mm -hmm. and I was meditating while John was tanking during that hand and it worked out pretty well so. Worked out pretty well. It was at what, five mil payday? Uh, yes, five million. Is all that, L last question, uh, do you still have a chunk of that money or does it go quick? Uh, I have more money than I had in 2018. So. There you go. Well, the meditation is working out for you. Uh, congratulations again on that run. And you know, it's early here at the 2021 World Series of Poker main event, but Tony Miles would uh, love to get there again. Let's right? Oh, absolutely. Let's go. Poker News, Tiffany Michelle.